man-made earthquake group. Fires are still raging through the... Tremendous earthquakes, killer typhoons, flash floods, widespread bombings and other man-made disasters kind of makes you stop and think, are we really safe? Or would another mismanaged disaster claim more lives than the actual incident? It is during critical moments like these when there is a need for a systematic mass casualty incident response, the very thing that could save lives, mine or yours. Uh, there should be an alert system or aim at the impact area. Successful scene management of a mass casualty incident or MCI occurs in a standardized, predictable fashion. The procedures, tactical objectives, and operational approaches must be consistent across various multi-sectoral EMS agencies responding to ensure maximum effectiveness and optimum patient outcome, especially when operating on major medical incidents. The major purpose of introducing and training on sophisticated MCI is to increase first responder readiness to respond, triage, treat and transport patients arising from a multiple patient or mass casualty incident. The goal of sophisticated MCI is to improve an emergency medical service agency's ability to manage a mass casualty incident by simulating a multi-agency response to a major medical incident. You should place your command post in all your collecting area. Is the, the flow of the wind is going to this area, you can put your command post in this area. Then you will be establishing immediately where will you place your collecting area then you will be having a triage area so this will be the flow for in you would be putting all your uh, patient and this will be your treatment area upon arrival at an MCI the first arriving command officer should establish a command post develop an appropriate command organization establish objectives request resources Provide for the triage, extrication, treatment, and transportation of all patients. Establish a treatment area. Provide for scene safety. Allocate resources to sectors. Notify area hospitals. Distribute and account for all patients. Liaison with other agencies. Update dispatch with progress reports and complete EMS tactical objectives. You have to cordon this area, the impact area. So put some police or security in this area. The incident commander now gives the order to the team leaders or the commander. Most multiple patient incidents require patient triage, extrication, treatment, and transportation. Because of a potential vehicle congestion at the site, a staging sector for apparatus is also a major consideration during larger incidents. These needs form natural basic sectors for the incident management system. Additional sectors may be assigned depending on the situation consistent with the incident management system. We should place the treatment area in green, yellow, and a red uh, tag wherein you will be doing the treatment in this area. Then you will be having here the transportation area. The purpose of triage is to categorize patients based on the severity of their injuries, prioritize their needs for treatment and transportation, and stabilize life-threatening injuries before additional resources arrive on scene. With this in mind, extrication and triage sectors will be assigned separately. Usually, if this is the impact area, uh, then you have the, your team, your search and rescue group, you have here your patients uh, all over. Then, from this area, your search and rescue will do their first triads. Then, 
put this patient here in the collecting area if this is red place it here and you have already a team from the collecting area a team leader or you have a nurse or a paramedic or in from this collecting area you have a yellow or a red the extrication sector is utilized in multiple patient incidents that require physical disentanglement and or the removal of trapped victims. Extrication is responsible for locating, removing and delivering patients to a treatment area. Extrication is also responsible for any patient treatment that is necessary prior to disentanglement. Then they will be place in the treatment area according to the tagging. The treatment sector is utilized to provide a site to manage the treatment of multiple immediate and delayed patients at medical incidents. The treatment sector is responsible for establishing a treatment area and provide stabilization and continuing care of patients until they can be transported to a medical facility. The objective of the treatment sector is to rapidly treat and transport all patients. Unless there's a ready patient for transport, the transport officer can call the uh, incident commander or go directly contact the true radio staging area. The transportation sector is established to manage patient transportation from the scene to appropriate medical facilities. It is also responsible for arranging all the transportation needs for a multiple patient incident and for allocating those patients to appropriate medical facilities. In the Philippines, awareness is very much heightened so that various training agencies, both government and the private sector, have focused and initiated training of emergency personnel in first aid and emergency management either at the scene or at the facility. Excellent policies and declarations have been promulgated but hardly implemented in an integrated manner. Without it being implemented at the grassroots level, coordination can never be realized. Most of these policies are shelved in drawers and cabinets of assuming experts, ever willing and over eager to impose upon subordinates who were never consulted and empowered. Community participation among stakeholders and target beneficiaries should be strengthened, local expertise utilized, co-ownership emphasized and thereby render them self-reliant and prepared. The challenge is, the more scarce the resources, the more effective instruction in disaster management is highly demanded. This has inspired our COBAM MCI researchers, Dr. Manuel Quirino, Colonel Jose Segrit, Mr. Joseph Florendo, to come up with a sophisticated, user-friendly and low-cost, community-based, multi-sectoral mass casualty incident disaster simulator training tool. A three-in-one module for emergency and disaster management. What equipment you have and where are you? COBAM provides a structure for coordination and communication among multiple emergency medical agencies and other organizations providing pre-hospital medical care. The plan seeks to maximize existing resources of emergency medical agencies and hospitals. COBAM will give direction to agencies, hospitals and others involved in a mass casualty incident in a manner that is consistent and compatible with local plans and protocol. COBAM will increase knowledge and access to available resources as well as offer consistent definition and increased understanding and improve coordination in the use of various resources. A mass casualty incident response team is badly needed in every city and every country. All it takes is a commitment, support and collaboration of each sector in the community. Let's make the system work and save hundreds, if not thousands of lives. Mount Pinatubo is...
next life it saves maybe yours.